Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Ticket. In today's video, we have some amazing news. The huge update that was promised by Samsung just a while ago has finally hit our smartphones. Now, this update comes as part of the package known as Good Luck. And the module I'm talking about is the Theme Park module. So the Theme Park module has been updated to give us the functionality to edit our keyboards to our heart's content. So at the bottom, we have three tabs. If I go to keyboard over here, you can see that you can create keyboards as you please. I can tap on plus right over here. I can tap on create new, and now I can modify every aspect of my keyboard. Now let's dive in and get the details, but real quick, if you wanna get this update or download the actual application, simply click the link down below. It's gonna take you to my website. You wanna scroll down just a little bit, and all you wanna do is tap on link number one. Right here, you click it, it takes you to the store. If you already have the theme park, you simply click on update. If you don't have it, you click on install. Now remember, this is part of the Good Lock package. So if you don't have Good Lock, you can click this link here. It's gonna take you to the Good Lock application. When you open this up, okay, under family, you are gonna see the theme park option as well. So you can do either way that you want. Now let's go back and look at this beautiful update that allows you to customize your keyboard to maximum levels. All right, so let's uh, launch theme park application right here, okay? By the way, this is known, this uh, keyboard update right here is part of that Keys Cafe package that I talked about a couple days ago. So you launch the application, you tap on keyboard, all right? And then you tap on create new. Now you can tap on plus, and then the very first thing you want to do when you are in this screen is to pick a main color. Look at that at the bottom. It says main color. You tap on this one. Uh, you pick a main color. This is the saturation levels. Maximize that. Pick any color that you want. If you want to minimize it a little bit, that's fine too. So let's go with something a little bit different. Let's go with aqua blue over here. Okay, I'm going to keep the saturation around 75%. I'm going to tap on OK. So that's the color that we chose. Now at the bottom, we have the style option. You can go through various styles and pick something that fits your needs, okay? You have all these options. That's the one I like. Now on top of that, you can see the circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven circles means you have seven customization areas, all right? So for example, if I tap on this button here, I can change the color off. Let's pick red so we can highlight the difference the red color for the actual letters, okay? And then if I tap on this guy, let's pick another color just to highlight the, the differences. Let's go for saturation, transparency. You can pick a color from here, a new color if you want. Let's just do green so we can see the difference here, okay? Look at that. You can change the background color of the actual squares. I'm gonna change that back to something uh, just keep it like that for now. Now, if you tap on this one, it's gonna go into your photo albums and from there you can pick a photo to customize the keyboard as well. So let me just pick up this one right here. Let's see what happens. Tap on this. Okay, look at that. I can change the background image of the actual keyboard, all right? So just one option. By the way, if you make a change and you wanna undo it, you just click on X on top of that circle, okay? For example, the red, if I tap on X, it deletes the color, all right? And let's see what this is. So if I tap on this one, now with some of these options, you can either pick a color or an image. So the levels of customization with this thing are in fact crazy. So let's just do color on this one. Let me see which one this is. Let's go with red so we can see the difference. Okay, so when you click on, a, on an actual uh, button, the highlight is gonna show as red, all right? Then we have these, all these crazy options. This is just nuts. Let's go with this one. Which one is this? That's the initial tap, and that's when it comes up, all right? So what I do, when you're ready to do your keyboard, you tap on this, give it a name, okay? Let's just do test for now. Tap on okay. Now once it is saved, you're able to pick it up by tapping on it. It gives you a preview of your keyboard in usual, mode and also the night mode so you click on apply all right now if i were to go into my internet here for example tap over here that's the keyboard look at that as i tap 
It's green when I tap it, but red when it shows the preview on the top. That's just great, all right? So you can basically fully customize these keyboards and even change the background image like I showed you guys. So if you go back over here, uh, if I tap over here, we have some options here, not a big deal. You can always tap on this one to see your current keyboard. And also, if you go over here, um, we are preparing some fantastic features, stay tuned. So more is coming, and I'm sure you guys know about the theme park. This allows you, this is, this is the existing feature, this is the new feature. Now this one right here allows you to create brand new themes. If I tap on plus, I can use the current wallpaper as a basis. If I tap on it, it just creates a brand new theme for my phone that I can download and apply. I can, you know, just uh, preview everything right over here, as you can see. I can tap on this button that shows the night mode version of the theme. And then I can download it just like I did on the other side and apply it as a regular theme. I also have the option to make changes uh, just like this one. Okay, so that's just great. But that's not new. The keyboard option is brand new. Now you can fully customize your keyboards. Now this might also come to us as a standalone application known as Keys Cafe, but right now it's built in right here to the theme park in case you guys are wondering. This is just amazing. Let's uh, create one more over here, create new. Let's go for a different color. So I'm gonna pick the main color. Let's go for a black theme, okay? So I'm gonna go for a black keyboard. Let's first go through the existing options. So we have this one right here. I like this one, but let's make some changes, all right? Let's tap over here. Let's pick uh, this to be white. Let's do white on this one, okay? Let's uh, go like that. There we go. And then with this one, when I tap on the actual key, let's see what I wanna do. I wanna do red, okay? So red and black go well uh, together. All right, so that's what we have. And let's change the background of the actual uh, squares. So let's pick something like aqua blue, a little bit light. There we go, okay? So that's the letters. Let's do the letter background as well. Uh, let's pick this one. Let's go like this. There we go. Okay. Now I can save this. Just give it a name. Test 2. Okay. When you're done, you tap on it. You tap on apply. And that's the keyboard that you in fact get. Absolutely fantastic. Let me go over here. All right. Look at that. Beautiful. Of course, as I play more with this one, I'm going to refine the whole thing, uh, but you get the point. Anyway, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button, and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.